All right, everyone. Welcome to another video on Tourmaline, my Telegram bot library for Crystal. Now, it's going to be very important for this video that you've seen my previous ones, so if you haven't, I suggest you uh, go back to my channel, look for uh, the playlist that this video is in, and watch from the beginning because we're going to be making this a fast one and skipping right ahead to the good stuff. Um, so, in my previous videos I go over how to set up a bot, uh, how to make commands, um, how to do inline queries. In my last video I went over actually creating a real bot that actually does something. And uh, that bot is actually now live, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, for this video, we are going to go over how to serve your uh, your Tourmaline Telegram bot locally using webhooks uh, rather than polling. So we're going to be using uh, webhooks using Ngrok. Now, uh, Ngrok is a very helpful tool for serving a local uh, server um to the like greater internet uh, so what it does is it basically tunnels uh your a local port through to one of their own subdomains and allows anyone in the world to access it and very helpful for if you're trying to show off uh, a project that you're working on locally you don't want to deal with actually pushing it um which is pretty much exactly what we're doing here uh, but instead of using polling, we're going to be uh, using this, which is a little bit more efficient. So, without further ado, let's jump into some code. So we're going to open this directory in Vim. I already uh, got things ready, created a new bot. This is basically uh, an exact copy of the Echo bot. Um, and as you can see, currently it's polling. Uh, we are going to get rid of this. So if we jump into the shard.yaml, you can see I added ngrok here as a dependency. This one I actually did version because I know that this is a uh, recent version that this code is going to work with. Um, and we're still using Tourmaline Master. I did update, uh, if you did watch my previous video, I did update Tourmaline yesterday um, because of what I learned by making that video. Uh, so some issues have been fixed there. Well, let's jump back into the bot and do this thing. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import ngrok up here. We're going to need to require it. The nice thing is, uh, my ngrok shard does not require that you have ngrok installed. If you don't have ngrok installed, it's just going to go uh, fetch it from the internet, download it to a temporary directory, and run it from there. So it's really just a drop-in solution, um, which is what I tried to do for it. Um, so right now, we're going to go ahead and get rid of bot.pull here. And instead, what we're going to do is ngrok.start. And we need to give it a uh, address to run on. Um, so why not just say 127. Or no, we need to do this. And then 127.0.0.1, port 3400, why not? And do. And then what we're going to say is bot.set webhook. And we're going to set it to ngrok. Um, ngrok URL HTTPS and then we're going to serve the 
port 3400 so what is this doing uh, this is starting a uh, starting in grok and it's going to be port forwarding this address so localhost 3400 basically then inside of this block and grok is started so it's going to return a uh, HTTPS URL as well as an HTTP URL. If you want to see the options that we have for this, we can go ahead and open up my uh, ngrok.cr project here. Go to source. Actually, I don't think uh, you even need to go to source. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've got everything you need right here. So the address returns the address that we're listening to, which we already know, so we don't need that. The ngrok URL is the external URL, but this is an HTTP URL. Then it's also running on an HTTPS URL. And it's got some status, running stopped, and a process ID. Um, you can also give it a... Uh, a subdomain, you can give it a host name, an auth token. I'm pretty sure that uh, subdomain and host name actually do require uh, a token, um, or at least subdomain does. I don't know about host name. Um, you can allow it to inspect. So, with inspect, uh, let's go ahead and turn that on because that might be kind of useful to see. Uh, with inspect, it's actually going to show all the information for the webhook. Uh, you can give a log file, which um, will log all of the requests to that file. Uh, and you can also set a local config file for ngrok. So, uh, really helpful tool. Uh, this is very helpful for local web development and everything. Uh, and it's going to be helpful helpful to us for bot development. So if I go ahead and save this, exit it, and we're going to do crystal run webhookbot.cr right here and run it. And if everything worked correctly, it's not going to find a locally installed version of ngrok, so it's going to have to install it. And it's going to set the webhook for us. Now, let's go on over to my test bot that this is running on. And we're going to run an echo command. Look at that. It's working. Inspect is not for some reason. Um, so I may need to fix that. But uh, we have a webhook bot running locally. That's all there is to it. I uh, took, I made a lot of effort in making this as painless as possible. Um, you can find an example just like this in the Tourmaline examples directory under ngrok, NGROC webhook bot. And uh, that's really all I wanted to show you today, is just how simple it can be to run your Telegram bot locally with a webhook using ngrok. Um, you can even forward it to your domain if you want to, so that you can be running the same thing locally and on your server. Uh, whatever the case is, it is super easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I enjoyed making it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.